in today's video we're going to implement the log softmax function in python and while doing so we're going to go through a bit of a journey about why this thing even exists and what improvement as it does over the softmax function so how softmax works is that you have like a bunch of uh, data point coming going through like a neural network and then if you have classes like this this is the output of your network right you have five four two you should choose the five or something like that because it's the biggest one but it's much better to have um, probabilities or as we're going to see afterward log probabilities so let's read out the problem statement here in machine learning and statistic the softmax function is a generalization of the logistic function that converts a vector of scores into probabilities the log softmax function is a logarithm of the softmax function and is often used for numerical stability when computing the softmax of large numbers this part is very important. Given a 1D NumP array of scores, implement a Python function that compute the log softmax of the array. So basically, what we have to do is do that, right? First, we need to understand why uh, there's numerical instability here when there is no large number. So let's dig a bit more into that formula. What happens if e is to the 30? we get the massive number here and we're gonna get massive numbers over there also right um, and this is just for 30 so the issue we have right now with this implementation is that we're gonna get overflow right we're gonna get an overflow and this is problematic because we're dealing with computers right which have like a finite memory allocation for some of the variable so if we look back at our um, nice network over here if we have an overflow when we're doing this, right? And these values are like all garbage now because it's too big. What will happen is that even though this was good, these quantity were all fine, let's say, let's say it was 50 or something and this was 40 or whatever. Even though these quantity were fine, this is not good anymore. So when you're gonna do back propagation here, at some point like it will, it will there, there's nothing, there's no information that can be passed through over here. Second thing to keep in mind is that um, uh, generally you're much better off working with log um, likelihood than directly the likelihood themselves. This is better, right? The idea why this is better is that if you have likelihood, basically you have a bunch of multiplication going on. If you have the log of the likelihood, you turn these multiplication into addition, basically, right? Through this kind of product uh, property here if you have the log of like a bunch of multiplication you actually have the log of m plus the log of n so generally gradient descent this is much better now the solution right to implement this thing uh, is not to do log of the softmax because if you do that you're solving no problem right you're gonna overflow here most likely and then you're gonna calculate this quantity then take the log um, there's no uh, improvement that you've done whatsoever in performance. So what you have to do, uh, of course, is to alleviate some of the overflow issues, firstly, then use the property of logs in order to simplify the whole formula and make it go faster. So before we move on, try to pause this video and try to figure out on your own. Um, it's not that difficult if you have like all of the properties next to you. Okay. So the solution, so the first thing you have to do here is to use the X normalized trick. And this is pretty easy, it's simple. What we're trying to do here is to never have an overflow, right? So no overflow. What we're gonna try to do is to bound this quantity here between like zero and one. We're gonna do a normalization so that anything that happened will always be between zero and one, the output of that. So the trick goes like this. You do the uh, E, and then you're gonna add a quantity B. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. And then you can do E of B. And this is exactly the same thing as E of XI. So why is that? It's because of this property, right? X of N times X of M equal X of N plus M. What we're actually doing here is equal e of xi minus b plus b right obviously these just cancel out so this is a whole, whole this whole thing is the same thing 
So why we're doing this is because then we can cancel these out like this and like this, because remember, we're doing also this at the, at the bottom. Um, so what we're left with is this thing here that is exactly the same as this one over there. So you ask yourself, like, why is this better? It's better because now whatever this number is, we can normalize it over here, right? By doing the max number that exists in this vector. So let's take a ridiculous example. Let's say we have um, the max is equal to 3 million, right? You do E of 3 million. No way any computer can do that here. So what happened with our new formula now is that we're going to do E of whatever the number is, which is going to be smaller than 3 million. Let's say it's 2 million minus 3 million, right? And you're going to get uh, like a big negative number. Right? And this e to the minus something will be very, very close to zero. And at the extreme, when you have e to the 3 million minus 3 million, you're going to get e of zero, which is equal to one. So the quantity will always be bounded by zero and one. If we rewrite our function, we have log of the softmax, which is e to the xi, right? Divided by the sum of e to the xj, roughly, right? And then what we're doing here is we're saying like, this is the same thing as that. So this is the same thing. Both of these are the same thing. Now, if we continue, because if we just do that, this is fine, but there's some optimization still we could do, right? We're gonna uh, do some property of logarithm to kind of uh, make this even simpler uh, to compute so that we have less of this uh, to compute. Let's do it. So if we look at what we can use here, what we have is a division, right? We have this divided by that. So we can actually use this and then it will create us like a minus here. This is better than doing an actual division. Perfect. And if we look here, there's also something we could do about this part. This part is actually here. So if you have M of P, you can just put the P here and then you could be good. So our P is actually this X I minus max. times log of e minus the same thing here. Perfect. And if we choose, choose the base e here, so this whole thing is ln, well, then we're good. This is going to be a big fat one, right? So this will simplify to that thing, which is going to be our answer. So xi minus max, because this is a one over here, minus that thing. And that's it. We're good. One thing to notice here is that that thing over here is kind of a scaled version of xi. And same thing here, it's a scaled version of xj uh, or xi depending. And we're doing a summation here. So if I had to plan this for coding, the first thing I'm going to do is to calculate this max. Second thing I would do here is to calculate this scaled thing, this thing. Third thing that we'll do is do uh, sum of the exponent of the scaled over here. with the log and the fifth thing is just to do this the whole thing right this whole formula and that should be pretty much it let's look at what the code look like so here we are um so basically the first thing i want is to get the maximum so np max of scores right and i'll call that maximum there we go and then we're going to scale our stuff so we'll scale score equal the scores minus the maximum. Right now I have my scaled score. And then if you remember the formula is um, the NP dot uh, exponent of the scaled scores. And then on that we're doing a summation. Right? And then on that we're taking the logarithm. 
disk is called our log sum x. And lastly, what we're doing here is to get the log soft max. We're doing the scale scores minus the log sum x. And we return that. So I made a mistake here. I did maxi. Uh, it's just a typo here. Okay, submit again. And there we go. We got it. This is our output. This is the expected. Duck, 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 duck. Cool. So if we look at um, the implementation from Torch of log softmax, what we can see is this same same setup. So here we're taking the maximum and then we're doing our scale stuff. So this was the first thing. This was our second thing here. And then we're doing this whole thing, the log soft max of the scale stuff. And then finally, we're putting it all together to get that log soft max. And that's it. So with this setup, you're gonna get the numerical stability plus speed up for gradient descent purposes because you're using log like I hope this was useful. Don't hesitate to let me know if you have any question about any of this. And I wish you all a great week.